Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm an exercise physiologist. And today I want to share a shoe that I got with you a couple weeks ago. I've had time to test it out. It's the New Balance 530 athletic shoe. It's a running shoe, um, but uh, they've been really popular the past two years. I thought about buying it a year ago, wasn't sure, passed up the opportunity, and then they sold out, okay? So I actually found another pair in a different color, and I love the color. I'm going to show, show those to you right now, and then I'm hoping to get the other ones. Um, I messaged New Balance and they said they don't know when they're getting more. This is a shoe that came out in 1992. It's a retro style, but I'm telling you, these are great shoes, okay? So this is the shoe. I'll give you a 360 view. Okay, and then this is what it looks like on top. All right, and this is the, the tread on the bottom. All right, so I've worn these running, I've worn them spinning, walking, uh, at work, and they are great for every single activity. I don't know why we don't go back to shoes like this. Okay, there's no angle here. I don't know if you're like me, I don't like a lot of pressure on my toes or my heels. I'd like it to be pretty even throughout the shoe. The shoe also has a mesh here um, so it's very breathable and your feet don't get hot very easily. So um, when you're running, your feet are able to breathe um, and you can wear as thick or as thin of socks that you, you prefer. Okay, so um, what else about the shoe? I will say that the toe box is a little bit wide. It's on the wider side. I tried on, this is an eight and a half uh, in women, seven men, and it's a 40. European. I tried on the six and a half men and it seemed to fit a little tighter in the toe box, but it was just a little bit too tight. So I ended up staying with the eight and a half and um, it's worked out really well. You know, I wear thicker socks sometimes and I can also wear thinner socks and both are really, really comfortable. Um, it has really nice materials and so, um, you know, your toes don't get banged up or anything like that. Some of my other shoes are pretty soft, which I also like, but it doesn't protect your toes at all. All right, the shoe is really easy to clean. So it did get a little bit dirty here at work and I was able to just wipe it a little bit with water and it cleaned right away, okay? Um, this color is Sea Salt in December Sky and you can find this on the Journeys website. Um, the color that I am looking for and that I finally decided that I want is the uh, gray matter with silver metallic and magnet. No. Actually, that's the shoe they do have. So they have that shoe on the New, the New Balance website. It's like an all white shoe and it has silver accents. It's also really nice. I'm considering getting that one as well just because the shoe is so comfortable. Um, but the one I want is actually like a navy blue and silver. Okay, so hopefully they come out with more soon. Okay, so um, as I said, they're great for all activities. So I would definitely give them a try. I hope they last because the color is very light. Um, and you can see like a little shimmer here in the end. It just seems like a really well-made shoe. Okay. Okay, uh, so that's that. All right, let's talk a little bit about gait. So gait is the way in which you walk, the way in which you naturally walk, okay? Um, so you wanna think a couple, think about a couple of things with gait, okay? And if you don't know what kind of gait you have, you can always go to a physical therapist and have them look at your gait, an exercise physiologist, do like a functional movement test. Um, but you can also go to a running store. Go to a running store and have them look at your gait. Um, they often have you walk on a treadmill and sometimes they have these power plates that you step on and it shows you how you hold your body in space and, and, and your anatomical position, your natural um, standing uh, position. All right, so pronation and supination. So when you have the foot flat, some people pretend these are my feet, tend to lean on the inside of their feet. That is called pronation. Unfortunately, that is what I do sometimes. 
not a not extreme you know there's there's extreme some people you can see them walking and they're pronating and other people it's just a slight rolling of the foot sometimes i tend to do that that can put a lot of pressure on the ankle and also can create knee and lower back issues so there's a theory that everything comes from the foot um, a lot of uh, back and spine issues can come from the feet um, so that's why I tell you guys to use a tennis ball. I've mentioned this in one or two of my other videos. You can sit with a tennis ball on your foot and just roll it back and forth, back and forth, hitting all those pressure points um, and, and start there, okay? The next problem is supination. So supination is, this is normal feet and people that walk on the outsides of their feet, okay? Again, that is not a normal or healthy way to walk. So we wanna do things to train ourselves to have not flat feet, but a more normal foot position. So we have a more normal gait. Okay, so supination is out, pronation is in. And again, you don't really wanna diagnose yourself. Sorry, we're having a hurricane here in Florida in the next couple of days. It's actually quite relaxing. Um, but um, you wanna have someone, a professional, kinda of tell you what kind of gait you have, okay? Um, so when you're looking at shoes, you are going to pick a shoe, an athletic shoe, a work shoe that is going to fit your specific needs. Okay. So we have, um, the foot arch can be higher or lower in some people. Some people may need insoles in their shoes and you can get those quite affordably on Amazon or in any drugstore. Um, and then also, um, some people you know, in the inverse, they have flat feet. So people that have flat feet are going to have more pain in the feet, sometimes um, maybe a little bit bonier of feet. Um, but regardless, you always want to try to get a diagnosis before you try to buy things according to what you think that you have. Okay. So the next thing we'll talk about is the knee or the knees. So the, so knee valgus, knee varus. So when our knees kind of go together when we walk or go in that angle. It might have to do with the Q angle. You can look up Q angle. That's an angle that comes from our hip basically to our knee. It can put pressure on the knees and create sort of like a knock need gait, okay? The opposite is knee varus. So knee varus is when people are not necessarily bow leg because that's a bone formation, but um, kind of like, you know, the, the feet are going out a little bit more. So that's another thing. People can be more pigeon toed. They can invert or evert the feet as they walk as well. Okay, so we wanna try to have a, a most natural, the most natural gait that we possibly can. And we're not robots, right? But sometimes we have these movement patterns that are learned over the years that maybe we don't even realize by how we sit, how we walk, okay? And I, I talked to you guys about how we think about ourselves. And sometimes these little um, ticks or not an actual tick, but like um, something that we do repetitively and we don't think about could be like um, a personality tick or something like that. Um, or just kind of like a thought pattern that creates a movement pattern in our body as well, um, sitting or standing. Okay, that over time creates these um, abnormalities or you know can also create um, pain in the body okay so it's challenging when we're trying to correct these movement patterns you know um, I myself and uh, other exercise physiologists are trained in functional movements so taking someone from the ground up and trying to not only train them to be stronger and more fit but also training them to correct improper movement patterns that may be causing um, distress in the body. All right, so just to remind you, posture is really important and posture has more to do with your core than it has to do with you actually trying to line up your spine. So if you're sitting or standing right now, try to just pull your belly button in towards your spine and notice your shoulders go back and down, all right? And then try to relax your stomach and see how the shoulders kind of round forward a little bit. Okay, so you wanna think about the posture, the spine has should have a neutral uh, curve, like a natural curve to it. Um, you want to imagine that someone's pulling a string from your the top of your head towards the sky or towards the ceiling. I know it sounds kind of weird, but you know, in your imagination, I want you to imagine the whole body being lifted up, okay, and the pelvic tilt, that core is engaged, and then just relax the shoulders, and then the scapulas, the shoulder blades, should fit right into their their place. Okay, in the shoulder girdle. All right. 
Okay, so let's transition a little bit. Talked about posture and gait and showed you my new favorite shoes. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about what you should do for workouts. And I have a whole video on this if you wanna go back through my channel and look. But it, just as a reminder, I find that, you know, I've been taking these spinning classes um, at my gym and I really enjoy it, but I was, I think I was overdoing it. And maybe I was getting sick. I, I was a little run down last week. I've been, had a lot um, going on at work. Um, but I was doing three spinning classes per week and I was just starting off and I, I found that I was getting really burnt out. Um, and then at the end of one of the classes, I was chugging water. I have this um, huge, I think this is 32 ounce bottle that I was, I finished throughout the 50 minute class. Um, so I had been sipping it throughout the class, you know, they remind you to drink water and I do need water. I, I want to stay hydrated, but I had drank too much water and it didn't have anything else in it. By the end of the class, I felt swollen. I felt dizzy. And then for the remainder of the day and the next couple of days, I really felt off. Now I've been to the hospital before because of overhydration. I had hyponatremia, I had low salt content in my in my blood so uh, that's just something that i have to keep on top of because i eat a pretty clean diet um so if i'm drinking a lot of just pure water it seems to flush my electrolytes out of my system so i was kind of scared to go back to spinning um family members some people that i know would say you're gonna do that again what are you doing to yourself why are you doing that okay um but it was something that i wanted to do so I started back slow, I started feeling better. I bought an electrolyte packet. Okay, you can find any that are organic, that are just like natural ingredients. A lot of times I use coconut milk powder. Um, so electrolytes are sodium, potassium, chloride. Okay, um, and this one is USD organic. I chopped off, I used this today and I really liked it. I've been spinning this morning and I'll continue that story but this is Hydro Boost and it's by Orgain. I chopped off that part, but it's it's by Orgain, okay? And it's also USDA Organic, okay? Which is important, this is their lemon lime flavor. And you know, it does have sodium. It has banana powder, superfoods, has monk fruit, blackberry, blueberry, raspberries, lemon juice, Himalayan sea salt. Okay, so this is like a really natural, pure ingredient pure ingredient um, uh, electrolyte powder. So I just put in like a fourth of the package and I shook it up in my other water bottle and I sipped th that throughout the class and I didn't chug and I honestly felt hydrated. I felt great at the end and I was so happy that I was able to take the class and finish and, and feel great. Um, so if you need electrolytes, definitely look into that. You can get a blood test to make sure um, whether or not your electrolytes are low. And if you have high blood pressure, maybe you want to not take electrolytes um, and kind of, you know, not overdo it with the electrolytes um, because it can interfere with the blood pressure. And also if you're taking certain medications, the potassium can interfere as, as, interfere as well, certain cardiac medications especially. Okay. Uh, so, to finish off my story. So today, after the class, I was so excited. And uh, this woman who was working out next to me, you know, I try to make friends in the classes because I feel like it's somewhat of a community. And, and you know, it just, you know, feels good to say hi to people and, and work out together and have that level of, of good energy in the class and everything. So, you know, she told me she used to be a personal trainer and, and all this stuff. And she's like, I've never seen you in this class before. And I told her, I, I, I'm only coming like one time a week now. And she says, oh, one time a week, you need to be coming at least three times per week. And I was like thinking about everything that I had been through in the, in the previous week and how I was dealing with my electrolytes and trying to figure out like my flow and the balance of what I need to be doing as far as like how high my heart rate should be and all that. Cause I tend to overdo it a little bit. Um, and I could have just taken what she said and, and been like, yeah, you know, you're right. I need to do that. But something clicked in me and I, and I said to myself, she doesn't know what's going inside on inside my body. And she's giving me advice, which isn't bad advice, um, from her perspective. And I don't know what's going on in her body either. 
okay? And this made me think about a lot of other times I've been doing different routines, um, even maybe talking to someone about fitness and they'll say, oh, well, you need to do this or you need to work out like that or you need to challenge yourself more, or, you need to, you know, whatever. N nobody knows what your specific goals are unless you tell them. And even if they do know, sometimes they don't know your specific physiology and what it takes for you to get there. Yes, if you talk to professionals such as exercise physiologists, they're gonna be able to, to kind of help you decipher that a little bit better. Um, but, you know, I, I always like to say God knows. So, you know, you can pray and ask God to lead you in the direction of your dreams um, as far as your health and fitness. And he'll, he will take you along that journey and you will discover if you listen to him the steps that you need to take in order to achieve that health or that uh, physique that you desire. Okay, so just a reminder, I wasn't mad at her. Um, it was just something that's, that made me think. Okay, um, I want to I want to give you a scripture verse. Okay, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. Um, this is something that we've all probably heard, but it says, "For I know the plans I have for you," declares the Lord, "plans to prosper you, and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope." So even though our lives aren't perfect, even though we go through these ups and downs and this roller coaster of life, you know if we believe and trust that God has a plan, he has a plan for your life and every single thing you do, if you're in tune with his voice and you're listening to the, the promptings, you'll feel a, a gentle prodding inside of you. So you may hear like voices, not, not in a crazy way, but you know, it's kind of directing who you are saying no or yes to things, but they're very loud. What you wanna do is get yourself to a quiet place where what you hear is this gentleness, a softness, just kind of leading you in one direction or another. Okay, and that's the first step after asking God into your heart, asking Jesus to be your savior, into listening to his voice and having a journey in this life with him. Okay, so um, there was a quote, I'm, I'm gonna quote it wrong, but I'll give you the idea of it basically um, from a movie I saw a long time ago. And this guy said, you know, when you're up, you never think it's or is never as good as it seems. And when you're down, you never think you'll be up again. Maybe you can name that movie. Put it in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. And this quote really paints a picture, I think, of life because it's not about the ups and downs. And I know you've heard people say it's about the journey, but it really is about the journey. And it's about discovery of who God is first off and also who you are in him and there is a peace that comes with that knowing that he's got your back and no matter what happens good or bad there's always a reason you know maybe we're late coming home um, from from work and we're supposed to meet somebody for something and we're stuck in, you know, somewhere or whatever, you know, we, we may be avoiding certain danger, certain trouble, just as an example. So trusting God and knowing that he has our best interests and our, our good in mind um, <clears throat> at all times. All right, so I just have one more story uh, of something that happened to me last week and I really felt refreshed from this occurrence and I hope you do too. Okay, so when all the stuff was going on with my electrolytes last week and it wasn't that bad I and mean, I've had it where it was really bad, um, but I just felt off and I felt weird and I had a thought, I was at home and I was like worrying, you know, about my heart or that there may be something wrong, God forbid, you know, um, because I do tend to be a little bit of a hypochondriac. I don't know why I think I, I take it as like I'm really concerned about my health and I do everything that I possibly can to just be as healthy as I can and, and not over overdo it or overthink things but I really like health uh, I like to be healthy and I'm really interested in wellness and things like that so anyways I was I had that thought I was worried about it and I've had my heart checked out before I, I go to my doctor every year and it's been fine but I'm like well you know you get those thoughts well what if it's changed since then or what if you know death is around the corner god forbid you know um so anyway I went to work the next day 
and I teach a lecture on uh, fitness and technology. And one of the things I talk about is this device, it's an EKG monitor that you can take around with you. And so I was talking about it and it just so happens that a gentleman in the audience had one. Okay, so he was like, oh, I have one. I'm like, oh, really cool. Okay, so I wasn't gonna make him do like a little presentation about it. But after the class, I went up to him and he, he asked me, he was like, do you wanna try it? And I was like, sure. So he had me hold on to it and I put it on my left leg and, um, and he had it on an, an app on his phone. And um, it's called Cardia Mobile, if you're interested. And he read it and as he was reading it to me, he tells me, Oh, and I can read it for you because I'm a cardiac surgeon. And I was like, God, you really do care about every part of my life. I had this little thought, even just like it was a passing thought. It wasn't something that I even like meditated on. And he, the next day he reassured me, not that nurses are not amazing, but by a cardiac surgeon, he's like, you're rhythm looks great, your normal sinus rhythm, everything is normal for your age and everything like that. And I was like, wow. Have you ever had moments like that? Try to remember. These are the times in our lives that we need to write down or just put in our memory banks to remind ourselves that we are okay, that God is with us and that he's gonna be with us continually every step of the way. And if you've made a commitment to living your life with him, there's nothing you can do to get away from him, okay? Unless you decide that you don't wanna live the Christian life or whatever anymore. But really it's just having a relationship with the creator God, okay? So I hope that encouraged you today. It was really, really amazing for me. It was just one of those like um, really uh, needed moments and something I hope to remember um, in the future. All right. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Bye.